might be the perfect time to get your house in order. Keith Kaiser joins professional organizer Pinky Jackson for some advice. Time to get to work, Keith. Feels like I'm constantly organizing. I think that's what you got to do every day. You know, keep your life in order and going in the right direction. And Pinky Jackson's going to try to keep us in the right direction. Professional organizer. And we're talking about how to get rid of stuff. Yeah. It can be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You see everything around your house. I want to get rid of all of it, but you got to you got to focus your brain, right? That's right. What do you do? That's right. Well, there's a lot of different ways to get started, mm -hmm. but for for now, let's just look at the piles that are stressing people out. Right. And here's an example of a pile. Got it. So when I know that a client has a pile or lots of piles, I set up a system for them. So you can set up a system for yourself that has a trash, recycling, shredding, donate, and another donate for soft unbreakables. Okay. Right? So you pick something up and you just kind of decide, like you find some markers that don't even work anymore. I'm going to trash these. Nice decision. Nice decision. And then, you know, you look at, okay, so look at all those clips. That's yeah. a lot of chips. Do we need clips. all these? How many chips do I really need? Do you need those? But they are something that can be donated and you can put them in the bag because they're not breakable. Come right here? Yep. And, they'll, and we will take them to a place that needs them. Got it. Okay. And then uh, how many, everybody's got like 22 dish towels. Many people have plenty of dish towels <laughs> and that's something that donations send Love. Donate Absolutely. soft goods right Absolutely. there. Some breakable things. Yes, that's why you always want to have a box for mm -hmm. books and breakables. Books and breakables, you don't want hauling around in a bag. All right, All right so now we got uh, some of the, it might be some important documents here. That's right. That's right. So you want to look at it really carefully. Does it need to be shredded? Is there anything you want to keep? Yeah. Can it all be recycled? There I'm shredding go. all of it right there. And then recycle like Lots some of these. Recycling. You can recycle these right here. Absolutely. So look at look. I've already cleaned off the table. There you go. I'm already focused here. Now a lot of places are going to be opening up soon That's to right. for you're able to donate these items. That's you don't want to overwhelm the 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 real popular ones. Where where else could folks go? Oh, there's so many wonderful places that really could use your things. And in preparation for today, we updated our list. And and if you go to PinkyJackson.com, click About Us page, I've got a whole list there for mm -hmm. you that you can get. And there's places like Wayside, and there's places like God's Design, and Free to Hope, and Fam Tree of Life Family Birth Center that aren't going to be overwhelmed because they're not the big box donation center, mm -hmm. but they still need your goods. And so we've made a list for you there to do that. We're going to keep you organized all morning long. This is one of uh, Pinky, uh, Pinky's uh, clients' houses, so we're going to just kind of uh, wander through and find some things here and there. But uh, little tips that you can get organized at home. Candace Sterling, are you organized at home? Are things overwhelming you? Let me just say my husband has a different strategy. Mm -hmm. You have all the stuff on the table and a trash can at the end, and then you take your arm and you just rake all of it into the trash can, whether so, it's important or not. You just, when you're tired of it, you throw it all away. That's how he organizes, huh? Gets tired we've, of looking at it? We've thrown away healthcare enrollment forms and a variety of other important <laughs> items in years past, but, but the counter was clean. <laughs> Don't necessarily <laughs> recommend that. No, I, I've been working on organizing the house, the basement, to. the garage, all that good stuff. Yeah, we're a good pair. He wants to get rid of everything. I want to save everything. We come to the middle. All right. Thank you, Keith.